Hey YouTube, so um, today I just got a package from my post office from PSA DNA. Um, I've done a couple of videos of me sending away uh, cards to get uh, authenticated and I usually have pretty good success. Uh, today I had good success and one bad success. David Wright. Um, I took a gamble on this one because it is signed in a Sharpie as you can see. So I know it's harder for them to authenticate it. I looked pretty hard at all of the uh, his autographs online and this one was pretty spot on. But again, I think because it was Sharpie, they couldn't see every little detail. But usually the, the T in right really uh, does it for you. It's like a more of a star and that looks like a star to me. But anyway, it couldn't be authenticated, so they just returned it. So I lost money on that one, but again, I, I took a shot in the dark. <clears throat> Next one, uh, Louis Tiant. A uh, nice Yankee autograph here on the Yankees Classics. So it came up authentic. The card itself is in pretty good condition, too. Uh, too bad they didn't. I didn't do the uh, promotion with uh, the grading of the autograph, because this would have easily gotten a 10, because it's uh, very crisp. Okay, next one. <clears throat> nice Bob Greasy. Uh, uh, Upper Deck Heroes. So, it's always nice to get a nice uh, veteran player like this. A legend. So, that was cool. This one is uh, Max Scherzer. Scherzer. You know, I I've had it for a while. Um, I probably got it in 2009 from him. I did it through the mail. He wrote to me, I'm Kyle, so, um, again, I, I didn't want to get it with my name on it, but it is Max Scherzer, <laughs> and, uh, you know, he could keep having breakout years, and the value will only go up, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I didn't send this one in, so I'm assuming I have to send it back to PSA DNA, unless it was a makeup for this one. Maybe because they couldn't authenticate it, they gave me one. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I don't know who sent this one in. I'm going to have to give them a call and find out. But um, it's not mine. I, I didn't pay for it. I didn't send it in. I didn't get it. So um, I'm going to send this in. I'm going to call them up and find out what's going on with this. So, All right, and then I sent in some index cards as well. I believe it was, by the way, I believe it was $15 for... Um, for each one of these to get slab authenticated and slabbed any size. All right, this is a George Culver uh, index card. Uh, the reason I sent it in was not because of the George Culver, it was because he inscribed it by so much. So he put uh, 7, 2009, 68 was his no hitter. And then I, it says Cincy Reds. <laughs> his handwriting's a little sloppy. But um, I thought that was cool because of the inscription. So that's why I wanted to get it in, um, encapsulated and authenticated. But uh, it's always cool if, if you collect no hitters. That's uh, a nice one to have. This one's really cool. This is uh, Robert Scott. <clears throat> I actually sent him a card from Allen and Ginter. He signed that, and then he actually sent me this as well. So <clears throat> this was from him to me, So and it, but New York... I guess that black? I think guess maybe he played for the Black Sox? I, I don't know. Uh, 1946 to 50, maybe? Or, oh, Black Yankees. That's Sorry, that's what it says. Black Yankees. It's hard to read, you know. It doesn't look like Yankees. But um, a great Negro League player. So that that's uh, always fun to have. Um, and it looks good encapsulated. And then my favorite one of the entire bunch, I'm a Long Island Ducks fan. If you guys don't know them, they're the team on Long Island that it's an independent team, but they always happen to sign great ex-major league players and uh, young guys that are all good. And Gary Carter was their coach for a few, I think uh, three years, two years. So um, I sent this in to him and he signed it for me and sent it back. Um, I typed this on for him. Gary Carter, Long Island Ducks, he was number eight. So uh, this is a great one to have since he's passed away. He's a Hall of Famer. 
And uh, there's probably not too many items that are authenticated that have Long Island Ducks on them. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I know I can't prove that that was on there before, but it was. So, trust me on that one. <laughs> Alright guys, that's uh, those are my uh, PSA DNA uh, submissions. I'm excited, I'm happy about them, except for this one. But what can you do? And uh, I gotta find out about this guy. Austin Meadows, and find out whose it is, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe they were nice and sent it to me. Feeling bad about this, uh, this one. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Alright, thanks. Bye.